remember? Too cool for anyone to understand. Right, yeah. Too cool to understand. Too, uh, cooler-rooney. So we're here at PDR, <clears throat> full course drifting today. I'm really excited because we have a working handbrake this time. We didn't have a handbrake the last time I came in the vet. And uh, good. So we're gonna get the car tech now. Last night we went to do a couple laps and the first lap went to go pull the handbrake and uh, it wasn't there, it didn't exist. And uh, then I went to take the wheel off to figure out what was wrong with the handbrake and then uh, two of the studs snapped so I had to replace those. Luckily, Josue and Raldo and Johnny are here and they stayed late with me and helped me fix my car because they're good friends. Uh, what else? Yeah, we're gonna go drive. I'm also gonna be making a video on how, uh, comparing the Kindas to these like super cheap tires and tire sprayer versus no tire sprayer. We'll see if I can get both of those done too. But yeah, that's about it for now. All right, cars are teched. Say hi, everybody. Hey, hey, morning, morning. Johnny, Raldo, Josue, these were like my ride or dies back in the day. Wow. Gave me rides when my anymore. cars broke down, helped me with my cars. I didn't help them with their cars because I was a bad friend. <laughs> I did sometimes. I didn't know. Just, just not as much out. as they helped me. And this is the Raldo's first time drifting in what six, that? seven years. Yep. Here. I'm so excited. It's like the old crews back together except we have trucks and trailers now instead of driving our cars to the track and there's no more CFRC. RIP. But it's really exciting. I'm stoked to have all my old friends here have a weekend with them, drive. So I gotta check my oil because it's a 350Z and that's just the thing you have to do with them. Goals. Two tone coupe. Goals. That's chassis goals. This reminds me of my 86. I think there's a possibility this is my old one. There is a possibility. I'm semi-certain. Maybe not. I don't know. Where are we going, Josue? <laughs> Josue, where are we going? Yeah. Josue? Taylor. Where are we going? We're going on a trip. <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> We're going to tag. Driver's meeting, Driver's Josue. Meeting. Driver's meeting. You had one job. One job. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right, we're cooling the tires down. The tires are lasting longer than they did last time, so it's got to be working to some extent. We popped both. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> all right we finished the first session we're getting a little bit of camber wear this one's not so bad um this one's kind of rough like there's still a decent bit of outside tread 
So we're gonna try to pull some camber out of it. You can see where it's flat spotted pretty bad from like the long handbrake initiations. Um, but we blew them both up. This wheel held up fine driving with no tire seated. I kind of messed this one up, but it'll be all right. I'm not worried about it. I definitely think the tire sprayer works because I got like five or six laps. We'll have to review the tapes. Um, in that video whenever we do the tire comparison cooler video but i got like five to six laps i think um which is definitely like twice as much as i got last time in the vet so there's obviously other differences but I, you know we'll see we'll see so i'm gonna try to pull some camera out of it. we got to get gas because we were fuel cutting but man it was really really fun to just send it in this car because like the last time i was in the vet it's like quite daily i didn't really want to mess it up i was being careful i didn't have a handbrake but being able to just i think i had about 90 on the streets um, so we'll try to bump that number up, do like maybe 100, 110 on entry, just for fun. So, Josue, what did you think? Uh, How was that? It was fantastic. Josue hasn't rode along in a drift car in like six years. Yeah. So I'm very excited he got to ride along here. I hate being on camera, Taylor. Your, your I'm camera gonna debut? The, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be the guy behind the camera. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll do that, we'll go okay. with that. Okay, so. alright, so I'll just give you my camera so you can film stuff for me. Thanks. Sounds good. <laughs> Can't tell if this thing's out of water or. It sucked it up pretty good, pretty fast. Yeah, it sounds like it's out. Yeah. Next. Same thing as last time, same spot. <laughs> I was more concerned with just trying to modulate the handbrake. Because yeah. I didn't want to flat spot them too bad. Uh, good job, buddy, good job. Thanks, man. All right, we now have the lion hearts on. We have done some alignment changes over time to try to get, ah, that's loud. 
to try to get the wear better because we were still camera wearing pretty hard on this side. That side was almost dialed on the last set of Kendas. Um, so these have a little bit of an unfair advantage just because I've been dialing in the alignment all day for this track as far as tire wear goes. But we're gonna see how they do. I keep running this thing out of water. Like I don't realize how quick I'm using it. So I'm gonna try to be a little more careful so I can get like a proper test, but I definitely think it helps. Uh, but we'll see how the Lionhearts do. Hopefully they last somewhere near as long as the Kendas. one. I like the way these tires drive better for sure. Too fast. Tires are almost done. See if we can wink it. to review the tapes I like the way these felt it was smoother I wasn't having to like really force it to stay in drift yeah. all right we already killed these lion hearts they definitely didn't last anywhere near as long as the Kenna's we'll have to review the tape to determine look for that video um, this Milwaukee pump is amazing you guys asked me how it was awesome like gets to 28 shuts off so i just leave it there don't even worry about it because this wheel over here has developed a slow leak so it kept keeps running out of air so we got it pumped up raldo is working on bleeding his clutch raldo and josue look, looks like josue is just standing rear. around while raldo bleeds huh? his clutch i'm here for supervision yeah Sup supervision yeah no for sure yeah. and they need to be supervised they have jack stands, people. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they have rice and bean shenanigans. Come on now, they have yeah, to be supervised. Yeah, I mean, like shenanigans. Anything with the word shenanigans needs to be supervised. Supervised. All right, going back out for the last set of tires that I have on for the last session on the last set of tires that I have. Um, since I'm trying to get like two more people ride-alongs, like my friends, like Raldo and Nick, I want to get them both ride-alongs. And the tires only lasted like three, four laps. The I don't I don't remember how many. The Wine hearts, so I'm gonna spray them because I don't want to make them last any less long because they're my last set of tires. Um, 
So I was thinking I would do this again and do the tire, the water test, because we did, we're doing the tire test, do the water test at OSW or something and have someone with like a digital thermometer so I cool down through the pits and when I get back to like pit lane, see what the temp's at. If it's dropped, you know, lower than it would be if I just didn't spray them at all. Um, and then also see how long and much longer they last. Let me know your ideas on this test because I don't know, it's kind of hard to get conclusive evidence off this kind of stuff because it's all, you know, every run's different. All right, I'm taking Nick from Real Street for a ride. Then we're going to take Raldo for a ride after him. Uh, hopefully we can get enough laps. I think I'm just going to do one lap to start because that'll also let the tires cool down because I, I didn't get much last time. Can you look right and see if there's anybody coming? No. So knock on wood, but the last time Raldo, not the last time, but one of the first times Raldo rolled with me, I was like, oh, I'm f***ing killing it. I'm doing so good, you gotta ride with me. And then I uh, hit a wall for the first time. Remember that? The, in the 240? Yep. That was the very first time you rode along and I hit a wall.
right, we are all loaded up, man. What a weekend. What a weekend. Um, so, ended up with... Drag racing. Hold on. So, took some damage. Tire wrapped around the CV boot and broke the hydro line. Huge thanks to everyone for the help. Thanks, to, where'd you go? Oh. Thanks to Steve for all the help. Thanks to Raldo and Josue for all the help. Uh, I got to give some of their bosses at Real Street and like other coworkers at Real Street, like Nick, a ride along um, in the in the Z, and they like had none of them have been drifting before, and that was really cool. It's always a really fun experience to take someone who's never been, and I got to take all of them. Um, so just a super fantastic, just blast of a of a weekend. It was like a reunion with all my friends from like the beginning days of drifting. Except now we have trucks and trailers, you know, like. Oh man, I, I can't get over it. Uh, let's see what they're doing real quick. Looks like they're about loaded up too. We're gonna convoy home. So that's gonna be it for this video. Sorry, no no tire washer video, but there will be a tire comparison video, Kendas versus the uh, Lionheart. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Say bye, guys.